this is Turbo Sprizen, and along with these two other Beyblades, it is one of the very few that have a burst stopper in the Beyblade Burst Turbo season. Now, let's take a look in the anime, in particular this scene from Shu and Iger's first battle, where we see how useful the burst stoppers can be defensively by preventing a two point loss. Did you ever wonder if it works in real life anyway? Well, if you didn't already know, the burst stoppers are only activated once the Beyblade is spinning fast enough. While we know how the burst stoppers work, we don't know exactly if they ever engage or not in real gameplay. What if it happens to the burst stopper in slow motion? Well, I battled all three Beyblades to find out for you, using both slow motion and regular motion to capture the movement of Beyblades. In this case, I slowed the frames per second down to 2149 allowing us to see when and how these bursts happen. And the burst stoppers could certainly be pushed back in, as I'm about to show you right here in this battle between these two Beyblades, the Achilles and my Turbo Bryzen, when Achilles actually pushes that burst stopper back in. In. The first time they battled, Shu Kurunai was the winner by a burst finish. Although in this time, he was facing Iger with Dark Resonance and a corrupted Z Achilles. Shu Kurunai made it look easy in my opinion anyways. Trying to help and guide Iger become a happier blader, which didn't really work out. He wasn't successful in teaching Iger a lesson by viciously bursting his bay, which is really what happens in real life with any Z Achilles. Uh, even my Hasbro Turbo Spryzen could easily take care of a Z Achilles. And well, maybe that's only half truth, because I have recently found out a Takaratomi Z Achilles is really strong. I have put it against some of the best Beyblades, the Turbo Beyblades, that I already have. And here, of course, is Phoenix with its level chip. And we're gonna have this slow motion battle. Check this out, guys, check this out, because I was freaking surprised to see this happen myself. And to actually capture it in slow motion, a revenge for Z Achilles. He originally got sent out all the way to the rails, but he used that momentum to actually burst Phoenix. And it's really cool because he actually caught it right underneath the armor and the armor didn't even come out. I didn't think that, you know, th those ones could be possible, but here we go, here we have it. Now, I do have another few battles that are pretty cool and we're gonna take a look at the burst stoppers from all three Beyblades. But not before I show you the Achilles' true power. This is my brand new the Achilles, the level chip that I battled with versus some of the same Beyblades that Iger Akabane faced in the Beyblade Burst third season. It feels good to be able to burst them. Although not quite like the anime, as in some battles, he did have the Extend Plus driver. And that's the Extend driver with that yellow attachment that comes in a separate Beyblade set. I did use slow motion to let you see some of the hits, and especially when all the bursts happen. And this way you could see the disc moving. I will try to post the raw slow motion footage in a second channel, which I'll link in the description. In this first battle, we do have Archer Hercules and his gimmick, which makes the layer expand. It's a Beyblade with an amazing stamina and a burst resistance. I want to remind you that this isn't what usually happens, as I did battle them many times before getting a burst. And usually Hercules was the winner with a survival finish. There's definitely something special about the Achilles, and I don't know how or when his reputation got tainted. I mean, I know, if you have a Hasbro Z Achilles, you're probably like, this guy's crazy. But truth is, this Beyblade in its stock combo is still a good hitter. I mean, to take down Emperor Fornius, a nearly perfect round Beyblade with good defense, it's a hard thing to do, and it didn't take too long to do so. I battled them no more than 10 times to get this epic burst finish that resembles how Iger took down Fubuki in the anime. Now, I did want to change up the scene, so I'll be using my Rail Rush Stadium, the green one, as it resembles the anime one. But I can't imagine you still doubt the Achilles' true power. And that's okay, because not all Beyblades are the same. It may be that I got lucky with this layer, and whatever the case is, he's still a fun Beyblade to get. In this battle, I do have the recolored Hell Salamander with 11 and Operate. Now, I didn't want to use the 12 Forge Disc, it's known to damage opponents' Beyblades. Regardless, the battles between them were epic, and Salamander couldn't burst the Achilles, nor win any matches against him. Achilles has better stamina, defense, and attack, as he is a balanced type Beyblade. I think that Hasbro Z Achilles leans more towards being an attack type due to its slopes and its slingshot driver that it originally came with. And once again, let's take a closer look at the action. Let's zoom right in and see exactly how this burst happens. So you can see, I think it was one of the swords from Achilles that actually got that burst. Now, 
In the anime, Laban and Iger faced each other, but Iger was using his Turbo Achilles by then. This was more of a battle where I wanted to see how well Achilles could perform with another nearly round Beyblade. The destroy driver on Leopard and low frame makes him lose stamina way too fast in this base stadium, so I did take advantage of that. I made a short with this battle in a different angle where I thought that the disc was the one that got the burst. Now I'm pleased to see that it was Achilles' layer that actually got that burst. And just like that, the Achilles makes quick work of Leopard. For the last battle with Crash Rocktivore, it was honestly pretty easy. Rocktivores are not the best defensive Beyblades, and this one has decent stamina, but that's about it. Achilles' tough hits and metal contacts proved to be far too much for this Hasbro Beyblade. If you didn't know, Shu did help Iger evolve his Beyblade. He, along with Neuro, helped Iger design Turbo Achilles and its burst stoppers. Which if you think about it, was probably the better way to go about helping Iger instead of bursting his Beyblade like I mentioned earlier. Now let's take a look at some of the cool battles with the burst stoppers. Footage. Like I mentioned before, sometimes the burst stoppers just don't come out and this is one of those times. And that's besides the fact that I'm using two DB launchers with the power core attached. We are going to see one of these Beyblades burst and it's because the burst stopper did not come out. Or is it because we pushed the burst stopper in? I am going to show you that happened with a burst coming up. Because just like the anime, we're going to see these two Beyblades go at it and that epic slow motion burst. I really love seeing these. I don't know about you guys. The one thing that I really found cool was that you could actually see Turbo Valtriax burst stopper still there, still intact. Later in the Beyblade Burst Turbo season, we do see Iker evolve his Beyblade into Turbo Achilles. Now, he did add burst stoppers, but did that make him better? Well, the show leads us to think that this is so. I assume while it's in that state, it's virtually impossible to burst. What? So it's invincible? Iker then did challenge Shu again in the most awkward way possible. Shu must be a really patient guy now, or just too sleepy to get freaked out by Iger being so close to his face when he just wakes up. And this is the battle I wanted to show you, in which if I didn't have the slow motion camera, we would have never known that the burst stoppers were actually activated on Achilles. I'm gonna slow it down for you so you could actually see it for yourself. And so what we're gonna do is take a close look to see how the burst stoppers are out and actually activated. And by this time already, we can see that Achilles already has taken some damage. And after these few hits, the force disc is pressed up against the burst stopper. The force disc is only one good hit away from a burst. Now let's take a close look so that you can see that last strong hit happen. And by the time Achilles hit the wall, he had already burst. And so once again, a really, really cool take on what happens in slow motion to the burst stopper. But that's not at all what happens in the next battle. There we go. Wow. Epic. Epic. I'll show you in slow motion that from the beginning, you could see that the burst stopper was actually not engaged. And that's the reason and the only reason why the Beyblade burst. As opposed to with Turbo Achilles and how you see that Achilles' burst stoppers were already out at the beginning of the battle. And then towards the end, you could actually see that it got taken away. Whereas this one, from the beginning of the battle, you saw that Valtriac did not have the burst stoppers out. Yeah, you're doing great, Achilles! You keep it up! Go even further! 